What's up guys? Welcome to some Need for Speed Unbound. Volume 7 is finally here. I usually never start videos like this, but I wanted to capture every little bit of this update. So let's jump right in. I just purchased the premium pack in the store, so we should be getting all notifications and everything. I can't freaking wait. Ah, oh, dude, I've been waiting for this update for a long time. Now the next one is cops and racers because I took a look at the roadmap. So that's going to be interesting in, I'm going to guess like three months time. I think each season pass is like three months, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, dude, there's the Mustang Dark Horse. Oh my gosh. What? That's sick. So I have their uh, dev patch notes here. So I'm going to go through that right after this is all done. Yeah, that dark horse is sick. Drift and drag. Can't have it without it. That's awesome. Okay, this is also cool since they're actually showing this right now. League is actually like story progression brought into online. It's great. It adds more play value. And I kind of find it a little funny how they named it URL because, you know, websites. <laughs> All right, let's just jump right in. 83 days. Okay, just shy of three months. So that's that's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I'm going to have to go through this level now here. I get the dark horse right away off the gate. Dude. Oh, insane. Wait. Oh, yeah, they added the LCD license plates. Sweet. New banners and everything. Nice. Okay, cool. That's that's actually really sick. All right, let's dive into the uh, rewards here right off the bat. All right, so these ones I already got. The beautiful dark horse. Oh, damn. I love that. I really love the spoiler. The spoiler is so cool. That's sick. Fancy rims. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, shit. I love those. <laughs> Not bad. Where is this? Oh, body kit for it. Nice body kit. Oh, nice. They finally added these extra visual effects. So instead of just smoke, you can actually tear up the streets. Literally. Oh, damn. That's cool. I like that. New player skins, multiplayer only. Love it. Ooh, I love that little red in there. A little red in the grill, love it. Since all of this stuff is inspired by Need for Speed Underground, look forward to a lot of stuff. There's skins, there's cars, there's basically everything from Underground, which is perfect because it's like the first and my favorite all time Need for Speed. Oh shit, that's cool. <laughs> nice, like that. Oh shit. I love the vents on the side, dude, that's sick. <laughs> I am gonna have to get this body kit. Oh, look at the spoiler. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. What are you? Oh, like a little underglow in there. That's cool. Uh, is that supposed to come up blurred? Yeah, I think so. Like transparent. That's kind of cool. What is this showing? Ooh, nice. From underground itself. 
More effects. Oh, dude. Well, I mean, that's perfect because DeLoreans are added in the game so you can have those. <laughs> Back in time. I love it. I love it. That's sick. Oh, look at that. Freaking decal kit. I love it. Oh, it's a body kit. Dude, I didn't even realize. Everything's changed. Oh, shit. That's so cool. More rims. Tire smoke. Nice. Little bit of Ghostbusters feel there. More rims. Underground 2 license plate. Oh, my gosh. That is awesome. Oh, shit. They finally brought the 23 Touring Competition M3. Dude. That is awesome. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. That's nice. Nice. Those are cool. Music reacting rims. So apparently I read into this. Whatever music you have playing in the game, the tires, or the rims, sorry, will react to the beat like a waveform. That's, that's so cool. They finally brought just a lot of great stuff. A lot more great stuff. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the vinyl from the green Nissan, I'm going to say 350Z. With music reacting. That's kind of cool. Nice. Speed Hunters edition. I love it. More tire smoke. So cool. Oh, shit. That's actually really cool. I like that. <laughs> Banner. Nice. Rims. Body kit. Nice. I love it. <laughs> East Siders. That's cool. Oh, I'm in love with that plate. Just because it's blue. Sucks that's at like 43. Okay. This is the one I've been waiting for. Melissa's Custom Eclipse 99. Dude. The first car you see being able to be customized during the intro, I fell in love with that car immediately. Now, I hope somebody recreated this skin so you can use aside from the premium reward, just in case if you don't want to buy in, you know. So I'm going to have to go look for that because that's awesome. I wonder if Melissa's character skin is going to be available as well because that would be actually pretty cool too. I'm kind of liking the LCD license plays. They're pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think about the projections. I'm not... I don't know. Like, it brings flash and everything and flare, but... I... I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Oh, I like that. Give me a blue one like that. Police, even though I think that's coming up here in the list. Ooh. Uh, that's kind of cool. I'm digging it. That's sweet. Can't wait to use it, or at least get it first. Nice body kit. I love it. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Was that from Underground 2, I believe? Yeah. Yo! <laughs> Underground Dragster Edition. Dude. That's awesome. <laughs> oh man, that's sick. 
Oh, I'm loving the pink. That's nice. Oh. Oh! The intro video! No way! Okay, I gotta get that. <laughs> I gotta get that, like, now. Ooh. Like some kind of Sub-Zero thing going on. I love that. I'm digging that a lot. <laughs> LCD spinners. That's hilarious. I knew they were going to add spinners, but I thought they were going to be actual spinners, not LCD. <laughs> Damn. A lot of great stuff, guys. And then the complete... Oh, shit. The complete kit. Oh, I'm loving that. I'm loving that a lot. That's that's awesome. All right, so I changed one of my Eclipse cars from Paul's Eclipse to Melissa's Eclipse, and I think it looks pretty damn cool. I found one, and then I just changed the colors a little bit, make it a little bit more accurate, but the actual decal itself on the car is much better. But this will do for now. So cool. All right, now we're gonna switch gears and check out the drift tires. Now, of course, we already have drift tires, but they added the drift pro tires. I want to take a look at that. So here we got some drifts, each category, each level up. I mean, there's elite. Here we go. Drift pro exclusive only used in the drift pro events. That's awesome. That's going to make some cool drifting. So what's also new with the patch notes is they rearrange the meetups and the races included. So here we got University Meetup. We have the Drift Pro events with their cars. So if we go in here, it's all Drift Pro with all each tier, which is nice because you can do whatever tier you want and all Drift Pro, which is great. Then we have the Storm Drain meetup, which contains drag races within each tier. It's nice that these two are very similar, considering the garage is to the east there. So all this is drag with each tier as well, which is really nice. I like how they made it available with each tier, because not everyone has every tier. But by now, I mean, you should. <laughs> Let's be honest. Then if we drop down here, we got Edgewater, which is S plus tier races. Different playlists, all S plus. To the middle, we got Jefferson, A and S tier races. Then to the west here, we got Power Hound, Meetup, Drift, Gauntlet, and Rumble tiers, which is pretty cool. And if we move up, we got Motor City, B and A plus tiers, which is nice that they're all available. And then to the top here, we got last Dunder M Park, car locked events, Nissan only, Audi only. So it's car specific, which is nice. So what these were in the last season, they just dumped it and rearranged it so you can still do them, which is great because I love the red line and I love the RS rush. And then they added new ones. Actually, they added basically all of them of volume six in the Motor City. Or sorry, not the Motor City, the Dunder M. That is really cool. I like that. Okay, cool. Well, let's just drop in and I kind of want to check out the league stuff. So here we go. Underground League, the URL, which I find awesome. So it looks like every seven days, three extra events and challenges. It's pretty damn cool. Beat Ross, 
win a car. I'm guessing, yeah, the other ones are the same. And challenges to unlock. I'm guessing unlock them, maybe? Like the whole kit? Maybe the person, the, the car, and all that stuff? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, now the intro. Welcome back to the underground. Move up the league by completing each racer's objectives and beating them in a one-on-one -on -one drag race. Check back each week for new racers to beat. Come together to beat the Volume 7 Community Challenge. Contribute in free roam towards the target. Complete the Community Challenge in time and a mysterious 13th League racer will appear at the top of the Underground League. Holy crap, really? Okay, that's cool. Alright, participate in a Drift Pro playlist. I kind of want to do that. So, the Drift Pro was right here. Uh, let's do A. So, I customized my Eclipse a little bit so I could put the Drift Pro tires on. So, let's go ahead and jump in. Alright, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I suck at drifting. Apparently. Because driving on the way here was like pure ice, so yeah. Scoring, multiplier, collisions, and twin drift. Good to know. Alright. Don't judge me too harsh in the comments. <laughs> I'll do my best. Probably definitely won't come in first. Why, damn. Probably be better if I could stick to the roads. Bad, not bad. Hey, okay, screwed that up. I feel at this point I'm just screwing up. Damn.
bad, not bad. Definitely hit. Definitely getting better, that's for sure. Because I don't know how much multiplier he has built up. I don't know if he's gonna outdo me. He just might. Thanks, dude. I like to say I'm awesome, first try, winner, but that's not true. In full transparency, this is probably like my fifth time. I couldn't get the grip right, but after some trial and error, I got it perfectly. The score is not bad. You did pretty good. That's awesome. Now we can move on to draft because I can't wait to play that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's do some draft. All right, we're against the Dark Horse. I tuned my Eclipse to do drag instead of drift, so I lost the drift tires, put on some grip tires. So let's see how I fare. Tire warm up, manual shift, lane switching, perfect shift. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Oh, dude. Okay. Oh, let's go. Four seconds slower. That's that's not bad at all.
don't know if I should be a dink and cut him off. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Two milliseconds before, <laughs> I feel like such a dink. <laughs> Saw the headlights and I was like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> He's probably gonna do it to me too now. Just watch. Shift too early. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, am I going to win all these ones? Damn. He's got a pretty good car, though. Oh, he shipped too early. Oh, shit. Okay, he's got this one. Ah, oh, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I went the wrong way. One out of six ain't bad loss. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. <laughs> oh, he's got that electric smoke. I love it. All right, one more. Let's keep it a one digit loss. <laughs> I feel like such a dink doing that, but I'm kind of glad I did because I really wanted to win. <laughs> well, that's going to wrap it up for the overview. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, leave a like, hit that sub, all the good stuff. Thanks for watching. See you next time.